Cleveland is a prime location for several world-class healthcare institutions. Cleveland State is an integral part of the so-called Cleveland Health Tech Corridor that links and brings together the resources of academic and uh, healthcare institutions, as well as the resources of six business incubators and more than 130 health tech and biomedical companies engaged in the business of healthcare innovation. The Center for Gene Regulation in Health and Disease was launched in October of 2008 with the idea to bring together the researchers from different disciplines who will work together on understanding complex mechanisms involved in regulation of gene expression and their relevance to the most devastating diseases like cardiovascular disease, inflammation, and cancer. The interdisciplinary nature of GRID spans chemistry, which is my area of expertise, biology, even physics, and potentially even biomedical engineering in, in, in some levels. Um, all of these by themselves are very dynamic fields, but brought together with GRID becomes a real powerhouse. There's always uh, an environment in which you can collaborate with other people. And even though there are just 15 of us, there are research focus groups, little clusters of people. So there are four labs that are interested in chromosome biology. There are three labs that are interested in RNA biology. There are a couple of labs that are interested in translational processes. And we can all talk to each other, but we can all break out into little focus groups and have highly interactive exchanges with our faculty colleagues and our students and postdocs. The research that we do at Cleveland State is, is pretty innovative. My first project deals with uh, blood coagulation and thrombosis. The second project we're trying to investigate is uh, cancer research, and we're trying to find a way to selectively kill cancer cells. What we're trying to do in our laboratory is we identify the strongest component of the cancer cell, and then what we do is cellular jujitsu. We take that strong point and turn it against the cancer cell on itself. In my research uh, at Cleveland State, we are working on the stability of chromosomes. It is important that a cell has very potent mechanisms of protecting the chromosomes from breaks. And so we are trying to identify the mechanisms that are important for the repair of breaks, uh, both in the germline and in somatic cells. My lab is working on telomere-associated proteins for their functions in protecting chromosome ends in maintaining subtelomere integrity and in telomeric silency. The research that my lab works on is really focused on chromosomal biology as it relates to reproductive biology. And the main question that we're interested in is how uh, the number of chromosomes is reduced from two in the cells that give rise to gametes, which are sperm and eggs, to one in each of the sperm and eggs. And we're interested in identifying the proteins that are responsible for this and also the factors that regulate those proteins to ensure that sperm and eggs only inherit a single copy of each chromosome. The research in my laboratory is mainly focused on understanding the translational control of gene expression and co-translational protein folding. In particular, we aim to understand the effect of synonymous polymorphisms on protein production and folding. Uh, these polymorphisms previously presumed to be silent. However, we found that synonymous mutations may affect protein folding. This helped us to understand the origin of several diseases like blood coagulation disorders, as well as actually develop an innovative approach to gene redesign that helped to produce proteins in heterologous environment. And this research in particular led to a startup company called Dapsel stands for Design Active Proteins Cleveland Experimental Laboratories. I'm interested to study the mechanism that controls inflammation. So research from my lab has identified a novel protein synthesis dependent mechanism that controls an array of inflammatory molecules that can shut down their synthesis. I believe uh, my research uh, has a great commercialization potential because, because there are no drugs currently in the market that targets resolution of inflammation. There are a number of labs that, uh, that are poised to actually develop new therapies. And we're looking forward for many more groundbreaking discoveries to be made by our faculty and students.
we are really doing a lot of contribution to the scientific community. So I think it's a very exciting time and place to be here. I'm really proud of uh, our achievements that we are doing here. Really looking forward to growing as, as a scientific community here at Cleveland State.